What's up guys, welcome back to another video and uh, this video is going to be a UI challenge guys. In this video, before starting off with this video, I actually wanted to address one thing. A lot of people have been mailing me and also asking me in the comments on why I took a break, uh, I mean why I didn't post a video for the past uh, 10 days or something. The thing is I got a couple of jobs guys. Uh, so yeah, I am actually working through a couple of projects now and uh, that's why I haven't been able to uh, get time to make uh, videos for you guys. So, but uh, uh, don't worry, every now and then I'll be uh, making a video and uploading it onto YouTube just like I'm doing now. Anyway, let's get on with the UI challenge. In this video, we are going to be doing the screen on the left side. Okay, this looks uh, like a really clean design, right? They haven't used too much colors. Uh, they have used a lot of images, which is actually, uh, which actually creates a stunning effect to this entire screen. And uh, they have also maintained the concept of a minimal uh, clean design, right? There isn't too much data cluttered onto this uh, onto this single screen. Uh, at the same time, uh, whatever data is being presented here has been presented in a neat format. So. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, try to do this. What I'll be doing this is a lot of people have been asking me to make these videos a bit shorter. Okay, so what I'll be doing is uh, I'll show all the uh, important design stuff that you need to do. But uh, the design stuff inside these cards, for instance, you, you need to create this card and then inside these cards you are um, just placing an image and uh, another small image, a uh, small button on top of that image and a couple of uh, lines of text. That's about it, right? Such things I'll speed up. Okay. Uh, other than that, uh, this layout, this placing, positioning these widgets on the screen, all these things I'll show uh, in this video. Okay, so yeah, let's get on, get started with the video. I have a blank application here and uh, I have four images inside an assets directory uh, and I also have a couple of fonts as well that will be helping me to create that design. And uh, inside the body as usual, first let me just have a list view. List view and uh, I'll have children inside the list view. Uh, children, I'll have stack. Children. And uh, inside this I'll have a container. Container. Height. Uh, I'll have 300. And after this I'll have container. Uh, height 200 and after this I will do decoration uh, box decoration image decoration image uh, image asset image you understand what I am doing here right I am just placing this image I'm using a stack so that I can uh, place this profile image on top of this image, right? So yeah, uh, asset image, sorry, assets counter.jpg and uh, after this I'll use fit box fit dot cover, fine. And uh, so yeah, I'll save this and show this show this to you guys on a mobile device so that you guys can actually look, uh, I mean actually see how this looks on the mobile device. All right, now you can see a nice looking countertop image just like we have uh, here, right? The next thing we need to do is place this uh, profile picture on top of this uh, countertop image. So in order to do that, let's go ahead and do that. So in order to do that, after this, uh, inside this stack itself, I need to, sorry, I was about to type a comma. Uh, positioned, posi, positioned top, how much do I need to push? This entire thing is 200, right? So I'll just give some 150 and uh, left I will give some 25, okay. Uh, this will look good on any screen since we are using a fixed value here as well. 150 will be, uh, you will understand that in a bit. Uh, child container uh, height, this will again be 150 
width i'll just use 140 so that it's a little bit smaller with this will be 140 as well and uh, decoration box decoration decoration and inside this i'll just give border sorry border border dot all uh, border dot all color color start white uh, with some 2.0 why, why am i doing this since this has a white color border right the image has a white color border as you can see here so i'm just uh, trying to replicate that as well and uh, after this uh, we need to circle that so sorry once again box uh, border radius border radius dot circular 70 units sorry 70 units and after this uh, image we need to place image image decoration image uh, decoration image image asset image image uh, assets model sorry model dot jpg fine and uh, uh, fit to be some box fit dot cover fine let's see how this looks on the uh, screen i'll save this cool right now we have a cool looking profile picture on the uh, mobile screen as well let's go ahead and do uh, this part elizabeth uh 1794 followers and a cool looking follow button so let's go ahead and do that uh, after this position widget i'll use another position widget and place a row maybe okay so position position and inside this i'll simply give top 225.0 uh left would be some 175.0 and uh, uh, child would be some row row children widget column inside this i'll give cross axis alignment cross axis alignment alignment dot start fine and uh, uh, children widget uh, text what was it elizabeth right i'll just cut the video here guys fine now i have the follow button as well and uh, a couple of lines of text let's just save this and see how this looks on the mobile device cool right the only thing is the follow button is present inside the column as well so it's just you know i just need to take this out uh container i'll cut it here and then place it inside the row after the column fine right now we have a nice looking button exactly like we have in our design spec we have a nice looking follow button and uh, the text as well elizabeth 1974 followers and a nice looking profile picture as well and we have the countertop at the back as well so we are done with this part this entire part is now done right and it looks really awesome on a mobile device guys now let's go ahead and create these three tabs and uh, we'll also go ahead and uh, uh, try to create this tab list view the tab list uh, tab bar view i'll just you know speed it up or something uh, since i have already shown you guys i mean uh, if you look at my previous uh, ua challenge videos most of those involved cards with certain specific details and images present in them and we have pretty much covered this topic i mean covered creating cards like this in a pretty elaborate way in our uh, previous ui challenges however i would uh, go ahead and i'll uh, do this tabs and uh, yeah let's go ahead and do that
cool guys uh yeah now we have our entire uh, design recreated as you can see here other than that uh, we have almost recreated i guess since we didn't do this uh, indicator dotted indicator in the tab bar the tab bar i'll do in a separate video since the tab bar involves some sort of uh, tweaking uh, i guess we need to use an animated container here so that we can show the uh, icon in a different color as well as some uh, small uh, text label beside the icon whenever the uh, particular tab is selected right so uh, upon tapping this tab i presume that uh, it will be shown in green color the icon will be shown in green color and there will be a home label uh, accompanying that uh, particular icon so i thought i'll do this entire tab bar in a separate video okay that will make a, a cool video right as well as something cool that you can use in your uh, flutter applications so yeah guys probably i'll do that in the next video and uh, so other than that we re recreated the center screen almost like we have in our design spec right we have this part and we have this part ready and we also have these uh, nice looking tabs on top of the uh, on the screen so that we can uh, circle between uh, different categories of uh, data so yeah this is exactly what i wanted to show you guys today i uh, hope this video helped you guys uh, if you found this helpful kindly share it with someone and help them too okay and uh, if you really like what i'm doing on this channel kindly hit the thumbs up button kindly hit the like button uh, and uh, subscribe to my channel uh, to watch more cool videos like this guys uh, i'm i'm planning to make a lot of content for uh, flutter for web as well i'm planning to make a separate playlist on that and then uh, upload videos for flutter for web as well so if you would like to watch that as well kindly subscribe to my channel and uh, hit on the thumbs up button uh, and i'll talk to you guys in my next video bye